Hi family, I'm back with another prophetic word and the title of this word is don't take it personal. God wants you to know to not take it personal. Um, a lot of you have experienced many losses um, trials and tribulations during your pruning season, right? That pruning season, developing um, the season where God was preparing you for this grand opening, preparing you to set the stage um, to release you um, into the world, to release the blessings. That was a difficult pruning season, right? So a lot of you have experienced things and if you can be honest, um, you're still a little scarred by it right it hurt it was painful um but god's saying don't take it personal because a lot of the things that you experienced um wasn't necessarily for you but it was for someone else right there are certain experiences that you needed to have so you can reach the people who god has called you to reach right you can't lead people down a path to recovery if you've never been down that path so god saying yes it was painful it's hurt you cried but he's saying it wasn't for you it was what he wants to do through you to advance the kingdom okay so do not take it personal the good news is that whatever you had to overcome you've already had the victory and whatever you lost he's giving it back to you tenfold and he gave me this scripture he gave me we are in Luke 12 22 Luke 12 22 and it says then Jesus said to his disciples therefore I tell you do not worry about your life what you will eat or about your body what you will wear okay so god's saying don't worry about your life i got you i got you right because once you once god called you and you answered the call to live a surrendered life right your life is no longer your own your life is becoming a living example of god's glory okay